Toronto woman is speaking out tonight after she was hit by a police cruiser, but police claim it wasn't actually a collision. You be the judge. CTV's John Woodward has the video. I see the police car out of the corner of my eye and just kind of brace myself. Watching this video is still unsettling for Rachel Wharton. The Torontonian was walking to work in January when she crossed Dufferin Street. Dash cam video shows a police car turning and then it strikes her, knocking her phone out of her hand and startling her. Scared, a little shocked, um, and then kind of angry. Uh, because I, like, as a pedestrian, had the right of way. She says the driver asked her if she was okay. She had some choice words for him, and then he kept driving without giving her any contact information. I realized how lucky I really was because he was going fast around that corner, and he obviously saw me at the last second. She got the video from a driver on the spot and made a complaint with the Toronto police. She said a detective phoned her recently and told her there would be no ticket. The reasoning, she says, was that there was no collision that resulted in an injury. The Toronto Police says its officer stopped before a collision occurred with the pedestrian who grabbed the push bars on the front of the vehicle. The incident was investigated and seeing as the contact resulted in no injuries and or damage, this incident did not meet the definition of a collision as defined by the Highway Traffic Act. The incident may have understandably startled the pedestrian for which the officer apologized. However, this was not a collision and the pedestrian was not hit by a police car. Lawyer David Shelnut says that definition may work for insurance purposes, but not for public safety. In this case, there is contact, but now they're saying that it's not a collision. Uh, so it's it's really seems like the law is up to the TPS's own interpretation. Driving safety at the TPS has been in the spotlight after CTV News obtained data on over a thousand automated tickets received by police vehicles. Another turning police car hit a cyclist on Bloor Street earlier this month, causing him serious injury. Warden says she's worried a recent bump in the police budget could lead to more vehicles on patrol and more crashes. These are the, the police officers that are supposed to protect us and um, just driving very carelessly. She wants some of their new money to go to driver training. So the collision that wasn't a collision isn't likely to go any further. Wharton says she's not interested in making any more complaints. She says she knows what happened to her and believes that video backs her up. Omar? All right, John, thank you.